Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. It would appear that Rockstar has once again lost their mind. Um, well, partially lost their mind. So this is a little game you might have heard of. <laughs> it's called Red Dead Redemption. Now this is what I, the one that I've got here. This is the Xbox 360 version, which is compatible with the Xbox One. Um, it's got this... Uh, or the Xbox One has this backwards compatibility feature, and I think the Series X has it as well with this game. Not too sure, I need to confirm that. But basically it allows you to play the game at upscale resolutions with better frame rates and stuff like that. And that's been available on the Xbox One for a very long time now. Now, why I'm bringing this up is because Rockstar Games have decided to release Red Dead Redemption 1 for the PlayStation 4. But here's where the catch comes in. It's not a remake, it's not a remaster, it's just a port. Now some people are suspecting that it might be the port of the Xbox 360 version. I haven't really found much information on that. I'm just reading up on it now anyway. And my opinion about it is that it may be a little too late, a little, little too, ah, it's a little too late, sorry. <laughs> too little too late. And I think the idea over here is that for a while now, people have obviously known about this franchise. I mean, there's two games in the series. Unfortunately, with Red Dead Online, like how you get Grand Theft Auto Online, um, Red Dead Online itself wasn't supported as well and was eventually discontinued uh, not too long ago. Grand Theft Auto V, on the other hand, has been around for more, oh, at this point, I would suspect the better part of a decade, <laughs> if not more than that. And that thing has been thriving ever since, even though there's been a whole lot of shady practices being involved over there. Now, Rockstar Games in particular, they don't have a very good track record recently. And I'd say part of the problem that was started was when they came out with Grand Theft Auto V. It was on PS3, PS, uh, and Xbox 360, nothing on PC, then eventually PC, and then modern day platforms. And then they had the PS5 version, which didn't really offer many uh, enhancements to the actual game from the PS4 version itself. You know, it wasn't really significantly changed or anything like that. But obviously the idea was to make sure that GTA Online was available on previous generation consoles as well as modern day ones, as well as PC, whereas PS3 was dropped and Xbox 360 was completely dropped by uh, Take-Two or Rockstar. Now, we also remember the GTA Trilogy, which did uh, abysmally, <laughs> uh, poorly, disastrously <laughs> bad. I put together so many words that I can't really make a, uh, a formulator coherent <laughs> sentence. It all makes no sense. But the games are so bad that even to this day, after many, many patches, they just seem like a shell of a product when compared to the original ones. And then after that, after releasing the uh, trilogy for Grand Theft Auto, they decided to take away the old titles or take them down for PC players, from what I understand. I mean, it doesn't affect me that much. I've got retail copies of everything, so... And I still use a disk drive from time to time. So that's why you should buy physical when you get a chance. And now with Red Dead Redemption 1, this port that's coming to PS4 on the Nintendo Switch... With the Nintendo Switch, I can understand that's justifiable. I mean, it's a little cartridge. It's kind of hard to uh, smash a disc into there. And it's one of the better games that you can have on the go. Now, the PS4 version, on the other hand, unfortunately, that in itself is a bit of a cheap cop-out by the developers and rather a greedy cash grab by them. You see, they apparently they're offering this thing for $50 um, at launch. And obviously, it's not getting the remastered treatment or even a remake treatment so basically based on rockstar's press release there's no 60 frames per second why who knows no resolution boost no updated assets nothing the undead Na nightmare expansion pack is included but multiplayer is gone rockstar isn't developing it either and the kicker is that it's 50 dollars I need to know who amongst you out there have been dying for a PS4 release of this game. Now, I can understand the situation whereby you've had a PS3 and that's fallen apart. And maybe you don't have an Xbox, you've got a PS4 or a PS5. And this is your go-to for Red Dead Redemption. I suspect as well, this is obviously targeting new players or people who are new to the franchise but never got to play the old one due to whatever hardware limitations they may be facing or actually finding the game. Now, the other thing I want to point out as well is if you go onto Amazon.com, 
it's like $29 for the Xbox 360 version and slash Xbox One version. And that excludes uh, shipping. Obviously, if I'm here in South Africa, that's like an extra $20 for shipping with import fees and some other stuff. But if I look at it, for most people, you just got to spend that extra $20 on a brand new game and you can play it on PS4 and PS5 or the Nintendo Switch. The thing about this, though, is for a lot of people, this is a port of a very, very old game. Something that's released well over a decade ago for a console that is basically a decade old. So, 10 years, a 10-year-old game, or minimum 10-year-old game, basically, being sold to you for $50 because being ported to a console that was also released 10 years ago isn't very justifiable. Had they released this as a launched title for the PlayStation 4, that would have made more sense. $50 people back then would have definitely shelled it out for it. But unfortunately, they didn't do that. And also, people wouldn't have really crapped on them for the lack of better features or lack of enhancements that can happen or can be done when going over to a more powerful system. I mean, this doesn't say anything about whether the PS5 or whether the game on the PS5 will get these performance boosts or enhancements. Nothing of that nature, which is what's going to make this thing even worse for a lot of people. Now, going back to the article, this is from Push Square. Fans clearly unhappy about this one. You know, the, Ro the Red Dead Redemption Red is in flames, with plenty of people questioning Rockstar's recent decision-making. Else, where the reveal trailer itself is being slotted on Rockstar's official YouTube channel, currently sits at 500,000 views with 300,000 likes, and a whopping 78,000 dislikes, unsurprisingly, in a similar story on other channels. Now, I don't think that's too high of a ratio when you look at it, but, oh, sorry, 30,000 likes. My bad, I thought it said 300,000. 30,000 likes, 500,000 views, 30,000 likes, and 78,000 dislikes. I'm very sorry for that. That's like, <laughs> wow. That's more than double of what... Uh, People, <laughs> more than double the dislikes uh, than what people actually like or what they've seen, you know. Now look at it, it's nice, red, now look, it's nice Red Dead Redemption is being brought forward in order to finally escape the clutches of the PS3 generation. And it's nice that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, which the Switch port, I would think, as long as it's not running poorly on there, I think that's a great idea, it's a good idea. Um, but as I mentioned, it's a $50 price tag that stings. With the Switch, like I said, I would understand if it's $50. Those cartridges probably are more expensive to produce than a disc, I would assume. I don't know. And obviously, in general, anything launched on Nintendo is always expensive. That's just been my experience. Whether it be on the new or used market, it's always expensive. It's very rare that you find things that are very bargain um, You're very really rare that you get a bargain deal with anything on Nintendo related for some reason. And given the saga was the <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Trilogy back in 2021, everybody knows that basically with Rockstar's recent track record, everything is everything they've been putting out, unfortunately, has been just of poor quality or really poor taste, out of touch with their own community. I remember a point in time where they were eventually um, going after modders of like GTA 5 and stuff like that. And obviously it's left a really bad taste in everybody's mouth. This is just something to further cement that Rockstar themselves quite literally have so much of money on their hands that they don't really care what their image looks like. However their reputation goes, they don't care because when GTA 6 comes out, that thing is going to get sold out at launch. Probably those pre-orders are going to fly off the shelves even faster than anything else we've ever seen. And it's probably one of the most anticipated games ever made or ever to be released in my opinion. You know, since GTA 5, obviously people have been wanting GTA 6. They've gotten this in the interim to keep themselves busy, but I don't think it's going to do very well for a lot of people. I don't suspect, or I suspect that this is not going to sell very well and that a lot of people who buy this will either be hardcore fans, people who have never gotten to play this game before, or as far as the general member of the Red Dead Redemption community goes, they're probably just going to skip out on this one, not really waste their time with it. So yeah, I'm going to leave the video over here. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Sorry about the uh, incoherent wording and sentences and reading. I'm just extremely exhausted and I got a few more videos to make. So yeah, in my tired state and depleted energy levels, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a good day. Don't do anything harmful. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.